So let's talk about the OP mechanic of a knocked or bowed knee. So ideally when you're walking or when you're running, you want your ankle, your knee and your hip to be in correct alignment so that load can go straight up and down your body and not get stuck in one of those joints. Unfortunately, if you have knocked or bowed knees, this isn't happening. So knocked knees are essentially, if this is a nice straight leg, is when your knees bow inwards towards each other like this and bowed knees are the opposite where your knees move away from each other so basically it's going to look like this so knocked knees the knees are going to move towards each other bowed knees the knees are going to move away from each other now whether you have knocked or bowed knees the outcome is the same you're going to end up putting extra pressure and load on your adductors and your pubic area and let me show you how this works so if I grab our pelvis here and we put that up here and we take our knee and our femur, we attach it here. Knocked knees are going to occur and we're going to see our femur move internally and rotate internally towards the center. Now this is an issue because it's like you're essentially taking the load and you're jamming it in this direction. So all the load is getting pushed towards the center, which is right at your pubic symphysis. So every time your knee drops in, all that pressure, all that load is being shunted straight at the center of your pubic symphysis. And of course, this is an issue because it's going to wear it down, which is what we're seeing in the OP. Of course, your adductors being your adductors, they don't want that to happen. So what they'll do is they'll engage to try and protect the knee and the pubic symphysis. And they'll brace and they'll contract to try and control and slow down that load and that whiplash. And of course, you do that step after step, they're going to get overworked, tired, and lead to osteitis pubis. Now, bowed knees are similar. Your knee is going to start turning outwards now instead, and it's going to move in that direction. Now, of course, this shunts the load outwards towards the outside of your knee, but it's also stretching your adductors. And so it's going to start pulling and really tethering the tissue that's attached so all the way through here, which is where your duct is attached to. It's going to start tethering that tissue and pulling it from the bone, which is, of course, going to put pressure on the pubic symphysis as you keep pulling it away. Now, again, your adductors being your adductors, they're going to engage. They're going to try and prevent that from happening. You control your knee from going outwards so you don't hurt the outside of your knee. And again, step after step, they're going to get more fatigued, more tired, and they're eventually going to develop osteitis pubis. Whether it's knocked knees or, or whether it's bowed knees, the outcome is the same. You're putting extra pressure on your adductors, extra pressure on your pubic area, and you do it for long enough, eventually it's going to start breaking down and you're going to start developing osteitis pubis. Now stay tuned in the next video, we're going to describe whether you have structurally related bowed or knocked knees or functionally related ones, and more importantly, why it's not the shape of your tibia or the shape of your femur, but how you use them that is important when trying to deal with osteitis pubis. So tune into that one and have a look at that. You'll find that really helpful as well.